Hello, Possum Stramer Smith here. Back in the Dreaming Dominion. After all this time, it's been, what, two and a half months? I came in here to check on something because I want to build a chorus farm in Alphacraft and I want to build it like this. So I came in to check what I'd done with this, what size I'd made it. And I realised how much I miss this place. I miss being here, I miss building here, I miss pottering around in here. So we're back, at least for the time being. Um, I had a good look round, a little bit of a nostalgia tour for me. And then I went back and I watched the last episode of season one, which was... Um, sort of a roundup of what I'd done, but more so a list of what did I want to achieve in the next season. And I actually realised I did pretty well. I, I got most of it done. So we'll go over the main points. And you'll have to excuse my throat. Oh, I've got a bit of a cold, nothing serious, but just enough to make me sound a bit bleh. <laughs> So the first thing on my list was to build that. Oh, it's the, the slimes in the slime farm. That's okay. <laughs> ah, jumpy. Back at the end of season one, the transport hub was just a flat platform and I'd built some of the stuff underneath. But I wanted to get the transport hub finished and I actually achieved that. We've got the trading hall downstairs finished, we've got the museum done, we've got the transport tower done, I've even done a bit extra, so we've got the airship there. And if we come out the back, Got some levels up there, that's all good. And out here we've got the docks, we've got our lovely turtle boat, and we've got our sailing ship. And oh, I've got a wrecked ship there, we've got our hundred sub. I do like that. <laughs> so that was the major thing on our list, and it's all done. Hooray for me! And we got our little tourist destination point made, which wasn't something I'd even envisaged at the end of season one, but here it is. I especially like the hotel. Yep, I'm happy. Another thing I wanted to do was out here at the gunpowder factory, I wanted to make a paper mill so I could make rockets and we got a paper mill made. We got a very large paper mill made. And around here, I made a squid farm. So I managed to achieve more than I'd wanted in this area, so that's good. I still have to make it look like a disused industrial site, but at least it now looks like an industrial site, disused or not. So points for that one for me. At least I'm giving myself points for that one. <laughs> Another goal was to build something out here in my ice spikes biome, which I did. It doesn't look like much from this side, does it? <laughs> but if we, oh we may as well go this way, if we come through here I've got a nice farm, but more to the point. I built that. It's supposed to be the start of a palace, but I started and it's um, sort of stopped. <laughs> so we'll have to come back at some point and build this up into an actual building instead of 
a fancy frontage with a little bit of storage and a bedroom at the back. <laughs> but still, I said I wanted to build something in the ice spikes biome and it had to be appropriate to the area and I think I've done that. <laughs> so that's another one to knock off the list. Something I wanted to do that wasn't on my list was find a mesa, which I did. And then I built a small base. <laughs> but no, I really like this house. So that's our mesa, but there was one other thing that actually was on my list. That is the sun going down. We'll just stay here till tomorrow morning. I need to make an Elytra jump off point on that house. All right, new list. <laughs> All right, so we did the transport hub. We built something at the ice spikes biome. We built the paper mill and a squid farm. I found a mesa. But the other thing that I wanted to do was village makeovers. Now, in season one, I made over four villages. Um, Borscht, Shade, Rivera, Bruna Fields. Oh, there's our road. So I only got three makeovers done this time. Here's our lovely library village of Varis. And here's a silo at the foot of the crazy shattered savannah with the shipwreck right on a dock. That was too good an opportunity to pass up. There's also Fletchley, which is in a um, spruce area. Now, there's a couple of um, savannah villages between Asilo and Varus. You can just see them. We could do those. But... Um, I actually want to do something a little different. I wouldn't mind doing a desert village. Just to round off our village makeovers. And actually, here's our Elytra jump off point. Already done. Okay. And back at the transport hub. And out there, I still forgot to fill in those three little pixels that will finish our map. Next time. Now, one last village to make over. There are several Plains villages in here. There's a savannah village just there. As we know, there are two savannah villages there between Varus and Asilo. But I think from memory, there are two desert villages. One there and one about there. It looks like there might also be one there. Let's look at this properly. Yeah, there may be one there. I'm pretty sure there's one there. And there's another one somewhere around there. Plus bits of the map to fill in. So to the west of Rivera. And I'm thinking one of those two. So let's head out there and have a look. I had to show you this. When you get birch trees going into extreme hills in Jermsey's Better Foliage resource pack, which 
add-on pack which I've got and it's the only add-on or mod I use but you can see what happens to them they go pink like cherry blossom <laughs> how beautiful is that <laughs> I love it and here we are finally at Rivera and I have to finish this road it goes as far as there and then follow the line of torches which isn't really enough so there's another thing to add to a new list finish the roads okay I've flown out beyond Rivera and we have this town but we also have this town now they are close enough together that we could do the two of them at once so this could be the little fishing village part and this is another little village and they've sort of grown up and joined it'll be a big job but we could at least get started what do you think too big a task develop the two of them separately or make them into one what do you think Okay, I misremembered those villages as being much further apart than they actually are. But I really want to know what you think. Do we do them separately? Do we make them into one? Pop your opinions down in the comments, let me know, and then we can get started. So on that note, I'm going to leave it for today. I'm going to wait and see what you think I should do. So if you've liked this, you know what to do. Whack the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to hit that notification bell if you do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.